command. That's a whole other scandal to shut down Occupy and to scare the hell out of anybody else that wants to go out and protest another banker bailout, another banker wealth transfer. Most of the Occupy people were praising Obamacare and wanting it to be passed and then implemented, not knowing it was written by offshore banks and insurance companies as a wealth transfer, a banker bailout to the banks and insurance companies with death panels, everything else. I would go down there. They'd say, Alex, I used to like you when you didn't like Bush. I'm like, well, he was for war and all this stuff, but... I was always a constitutionalist. Bush wasn't. It wasn't about Republican, Democrat. It was about what was right. And so when they cracked down on them and, and, and all those cities at once, that was a staged event. But then it also had the effect of lionizing them. So I just broke down the PSYOP right there as simply as I can. There's more to it. What do you say to that? Uh, well, I think if the people knew what was really going on in the Fed and or Wall Street, the impeachment would be instantaneous. And oh, I agree. We, I, I had a national movement, and I led it in three cities in, in Texas. I mean, I put my money where my mouth was. I went to Dallas, uh, Houston, and then San Antonio at the Fed buildings and led uh, close to 1,000 people at one, about 500 uh, in, in Houston, and about 300 in San Antonio. And the police were supportive of our First Amendment at all three events. That was good. To point out the Federal Reserve was private, and to uh, and we tried to go and work with Occupy at the time, and 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 there, some of their members were happy, but others were there, run by big foundations, run by Democrats, and would say, "You get out of here right now." So 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 I I have tried to do what you're saying. Go ahead. Yeah, well, the reason they're putting up so much uh, resistance and infiltrating, etc., is I believe that's their Achilles' heel. If the people knew what was really going on. It would be over. And just one more comment on your style. A lot of times you say these people are doing this and that and that and this. And by the time you get done with the list of bad things, I've forgotten who's doing it to us. So I would just like you to return to the beginning just so I can remember where all these bad things are coming from. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Uh, look. I listen to myself all the time, and sometimes it's painful, and I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that, and I totally agree with you. It is a corporate technocracy of interlocking corporate anti-free market boards who pose as free market capitalists, preying on innovation, preying on science, using government to shut down their competition, exempting themselves from taxes. It's a breakaway government, a breakaway culture. It's a new form of tyranny. Kind of like the British monarchy would manage through their minions a far-flung empire. That's kind of what these globalists are, but it's hard to ever pin them down because it's all done through plausible deniability. And they've all written books bragging about this. Zbigniew so Brzezinski, Henry Kissinger, Rothkop, uh, all of them. I mean... Newt Gingrich wrote the foreword to Alvin and Heidi Toffler's book, I forget which one, I read it years ago, saying we're going to have brain chips and chips and world government. This was like 25 years ago. So, I mean, I know who Newt Gingrich is. He wants us to have brain chips to buy and sell. And that's conservative? I mean, it's just, you know, give me a break. Uh, it's just, I just know too much. It's like the Gnarls Barkley song. Was I crazy? No, no, I just knew too much. Thank you, Paul. Good points. Good caller. Jared in Arizona, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Go ahead, brother. Uh, so basically, uh, I've, I've been looking over some mainstream news articles, uh, like NBCNews.com, uh, regarding the border crisis. And it's almost like they they talk about how it's being facilitated almost. And So you've hit uh, on something here, and I'm going to hold you over because I didn't look at the clock. They will come out and say, isn't it ridiculous Ron Paul says give people freedom? Because you're smart, so that doesn't make sense. That's meant to make the average person go, ah, uh -huh, he wants to get, you know, you know, give me the cure to cancer. Or, ah, uh -huh, he says two plus two equals four. It's all just about ridicule. And then, yeah, they mainline it. Like, can you believe the Tea Party doesn't want totally open borders and disease to come across and to give everybody free stuff and let them vote? Can you believe how racist they are? Because it's just meant to target people that, that, that just go off peer pressure. And they go, yeah, yeah. Can you believe how bad they are? They don't want to snort Ebola. I'm going to come back to you to make your point. Then we're going to go to...
Will. But first, Steve and Alex, they've been holding longer. Jared will finish up, then Steve, Alex, and then Will. Stay with us. I'm Alex Shows. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today eat them every day take them camping or save them for an emergency check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon that's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in oregon by oregon trail foods 30dayfoodsupply.com this is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is constantly concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Summer is here, and nothing looks better than tan skin and white teeth. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Power Swabs. And if you want to have whiter teeth in five minutes, then try clinically proven Power Swabs. Power Swabs whitens teeth on average two shades in five minutes and six shades in seven days. Better yet, it removes stains on natural teeth as well as caps, crowns, and veneers. Power Swabs is so effective that thousands of professional dentists have used it nationwide, and now you can try it without paying a visit to the dentist. Call to whiten your teeth in five minutes, risk-free. Plus, get free shipping and handling by calling now, 1-800-281-6805. That's 1-800-281-6805. I guarantee your friends, family, and coworkers will love your new summer white smile. Get your risk-free order at 1-800-281-6805. That's 1-800-281-6805. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. so long because they got stuck behind the guests that came on and i'm going to go through who's on the board now and then get into the top story that's red linked on infowars.com and we have to put this headline out because it's true it could have happened in fact it becomes a probability if the outbreak continues ebola may have already crossed border cbp report shows 
And we probably want to change that headline to Border Patrol Report or Secret Government Report. So people don't know what that particular high-level board is in, the, in, 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 in ICE. Feds likely shipping illegals from Ebola struck countries across U.S. at taxpayer expense. Well, no, there's no doubt they're shipping them. So we're moving so fast here. Kit's doing a great job. It's just that I'm looking at this. There's no doubt from the report they're shipping people all over the country from Ebola-stricken countries. The question is, do they have it? There is no doubt that the feds are allowing in people from Ebola-stricken countries is the headline. Kit Daniels, InfoWars.com. And now they're shipping people with Ebola to hospitals that have people in them. I mean, they can't even control strep in hospitals or TB, much less Ebola. This is cuckoo. I have another report from pigs to monkeys, Ebola goes airborne. I'm going to cover that in the next segment after calls, after we get to the calls in the next segment, too. Uh, Jared in Arizona, go ahead and make your point. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, uh, there's over 169 articles uh, uh, regarding the border crisis. And uh, one of them really supports your claims. It's called, the headline is really interesting, the how American-grown gangs are fueling border crisis. So I'm putting on the article right now, and basically uh, there's this quote, like, like you said, total bombshell quote uh, by a Border Patrol officer. Uh, the author, he put it really quite eloquently when he said, Oh, hell, New World Order. Poop. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. Democratic seminar caller calling into the show. Thank you so much. Use the old CIA line from 1963. Call me a conspiracy theorist. Uh, let's talk to Alex in FEMA Region 5. You're on the air. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Good, brother. Go ahead. Uh, I called in the other day when you had Dr. Group on about uh, traditional Chinese medicine. I just have two points, sure. or two talking points I like to make before. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, first point is, I was wondering, do you take any, like, medicinal mushrooms? Go ahead. Medicinal mushrooms are said to be, like, really good for the DNA um, and the immune system, like uh, chaga mushroom. It's really good for the DNA. No, we have a, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I don't know why I agree. I always say no. Yes, you're right. Uh, we have one of those mushrooms infused into one of the Wake Up America coffees to put a plug in. Uh, so absolutely, I mean, you're allowed to say those mushrooms boost uh, immunity and, and cell function. Go ahead. And also the, the second one point is a, it's kind of a request. I was wondering if you could get uh, Dr. Jerry Allen Johnson on your show sometime. I would really love to hear that because he's like the only person you could go to in the West if you want to learn about traditional Chinese medicine. He studied with, like, countless masters in China. He's a Taoist priest. I think he's the head abbot in the West. And just anything about, like, esoteric mysticism, anything related to that, he can, like, give you, like, a good detailed explanation on that. Sounds like an interesting person. What's his name again? Dr. Jerry Allen Johnson. His website is DaoistMagic.com. All right, I'll have to look into that. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Steve in Virginia. Steve, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Yes, thanks a lot. We're uh, long-time listeners. Uh, we heard a lady, uh, Vicki Davis, uh, the other day. She was talking on another uh, GCN show about uh, this thing with the border as far as uh, the children purposely uh, down south being uh, vaccinated, and then they come across and uh, residual uh, I guess the residual effects of that can then spread to other people, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you probably heard a virologist or somebody. I don't know who that lady is, but a lot of the outbreaks are admitted to be from vaccines that actually make people sick and actually give them uh, the whooping cough or whatever it is. It's just incredible. Uh, that That's what's so scary about vaccines is one almost killed my dad's brother, who's still alive, when he got a, a tetanus shot, almost killed him. My grandmother says she got polio a week after she took the vaccine. And, I mean, it's just, like, incredible. Anything else, caller? Yeah, I just had a question. You know, a while back we'd heard about troop movements and uh, body bags being uh, and different supplies. Stay there. I want to hear about this question about that so you can fully have your question and, and, and any follow-up, Steve. Then we'll go to Will. 
uh, and Patrick. Then I'm going to hit the big Ebola news and some other news. Then go back to your calls. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.com. Don't take it for granted, folks. We're on the march. The